In the dynamic world of business, some entities stand as towering pillars, shaping industries and economies alike. Among these giants is SM Investments Corporation, a conglomerate that has carved its name prominently in the landscape of Philippine business and beyond. SM Investments Corporation is a behemoth in the business world. It's an umbrella corporation that houses a multitude of successful entities, each contributing to the robustness of its portfolio. These businesses, each unique in its own right, collectively form the powerhouse that is SM Investments Corporation. So, without further ado, let's dive into the fascinating journey of SM Investments Corporation. Historical Background During the late 1950s, the visionary founder Henry Tsai embarked on his entrepreneurial journey by establishing Shoe Mart, a modest shoe outlet in Carriedo, Manila. Motivated by an unwavering commitment to enhance customer satisfaction, he tirelessly sought innovative methods to elevate the retail experience. SM Prime Holdings expanded into retail with the opening of its first department store, the SM Store, in 1985 at SM City North Edsa which was also the first supermall in the Philippines. This marked the beginning of SM's retail business. Over the decades, it has evolved into a powerhouse conglomerate with interests in key sectors driving the Philippine economy. Today, SMIC is chaired by Henry Tsai Jr., continuing the legacy of innovation, growth and success, established by its founder. SM Investments Corporation is not only known for its economic prowess but also for its commitment to sustainability. It has pioneered initiatives such as SM for Good and SM Green Movement, pushing for responsible business practices. These initiatives reflect the corporation's dedication to the well-being of the communities it serves and the environment it operates in. Expansion and Diversification One of the defining features of SMIC is its extensive and diversified portfolio. At its core, SMIC operates through five major subsidiaries, SM Retail Inc., BDO Unibank Inc., SM Prime Holdings Inc., China Banking Corporation, and Portfolio Investments. These subsidiaries collectively form the backbone of SMIC's operations, each representing a crucial aspect of the conglomerate's business interests. Let's us explore more about these subsidiaries. Number 1. Retail Dominance SM Retail Inc. stands as the largest and most diversified retailer in the Philippines, with a network of over 3,600 stores nationwide, including department stores, supermarkets, hypermarkets, and specialty stores. SM Retail Inc. caters to the diverse needs and preferences of Filipino consumers. SM Super Malls became synonymous with shopping and leisure destinations for Filipinos, offering a wide range of products and services under one roof. In 2023, SM Retail Inc. reported revenues of 415 billion pesos, with net income increasing to 11% to 19.9 billion pesos. Number 2. The Real Estate SM Prime Holdings Inc. is the property arm of SMIC and is responsible for developing, owning and operating shopping malls, residential properties and commercial spaces. With iconic landmarks such as SM Mall of Asia, SM Mega Mall and SM City North Edisa in its portfolio, SM Prime Holdings has redefined the Philippine real estate landscape. Beyond the Philippines, SM Prime Holdings has also ventured into property development in key Asian markets further expanding its footprint. In 2023, the SM Prime posted consolidated net income of 40 billion pesos, 33% higher than 30.1 billion pesos in 2022. Number 3. Financial Strength Complementing its retail and real estate ventures, BDO Unibank Inc. serves as the financial arm of SMIC. As one of the largest banks in the Philippines in terms of assets, deposits, loans, and capitalization, BDO Unibank plays a pivotal role in driving financial inclusion and facilitating economic growth. With a record net income of 73.4 billion pesos in 2023, BDO's expansive reach spans across Asia, North America, Europe, and the Middle East. Number 4. China Banking Corporation Throughout its history, China Bank has been a trailblazer in the banking sector, achieving several milestones that have shaped the industry's landscape. Notably, in 1947, it became listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange, establishing its position within the financial market. In 2023, the total assets of China Bank hit 1.5 trillion pesos, up 11% from previous year, and it's currently the fourth largest among privately owned domestic banks. Number 5. Diversification and Beyond 
Beyond its core subsidiaries, SM Investments has diversified its interest into various strategic investments in entities like gaming and leisure company, Bell Corporation, Atlas Mining, and Office Lesser, the Net Group, reflect its dynamic approach to portfolio management and quest for sustainable growth. Number 6. Social Responsibility and Sustainability Beyond its commercial endeavors, SM Investments Corporation is committed to corporate social responsibility and sustainability. Through initiatives such as SM Foundation, SMIC actively contributes to community development, education, and healthcare. By integrating sustainability into its business practices, SMIC ensures that its growth is not only profitable but also responsible and sustainable in the long run. Current Status and Impact SM Investments Corporation now stands as a testament to sustainable and successful business practices. In first half of 2023, the total assets of SM Investments increased by 7% to 1.6 trillion pesos, with retail accounting for 17%. Property contributed 26% while banking accounted for the largest share at 47%, and portfolio investments contributed 10%. In 2023, SMIC profits rose by 25% to 77 billion pesos. In the face of challenges, SM Investments Corporation has shown that businesses can do more than just generate profit, they can also make a positive impact on the world. Looking ahead, SMIC is poised to continue its trajectory of growth and innovation, driving sustainable value creation and contributing to the Philippines' economic advancement. A key player in shaping the future of investments in the Philippines. Let us know what you think about SM. Thanks for watching.